I'm Leslie. I was born in Mexico, um, and my parents brought me to Morristown, um, where my aunt lived. They decided that they wanted to come here to be with family, and I came when I was three. And at that time, there wasn't a lot of Hispanic people. So my name's Jesus, and I was born in Veracruz. I was brought here when I was four years old. My parents decided to come here to Morristown. Uh, we had a bunch of family here, and I've known you since I was four. Yeah, you were five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, all my life. Yeah. When we first, when I first started going to school, um, I didn't know any English at all, and I started learning English. And I remember kids would always make fun of me <laughs> because I didn't know their language, and I was always just gibbering a bunch of stuff. Uh, that was one of the biggest biggest challenges in life is people making fun of you because you don't speak fluent English and you don't understand. At home, it was always Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. Yeah. Don't speak English. Don't speak English. And then at school, it's you have to speak English. And so I remember that when I would go to school, the teachers, some of the teachers would just come to me and like get in my face and like kind of start talking very loud to try to get me to understand what they were saying, but it was hard. And in a lot of class activities, you know, because of the way that they would talk to you, like they'd get in your face and, you know, I wouldn't do that just because I didn't want, I guess that feeling, you know, of them screaming at or not screaming at you but like yelling at you like do you understand what I'm saying you know so that's a lot it's, of... it's a little intimidating yeah, it is. when somebody talks to you that way because it gets other people's attention and then those people look at you and it's like do they not understand <laughs> like it's nothing wrong with them and even like now as a grown up um, you know sometimes people hear me just speaking Spanish and automatically they just start treating me differently. Like, like there are some people that just look at me like, you're not white. <laughs> you know, like, why do you have that job? Yeah, I worked in retail. It's, uh, you see everything you see. I've had roles where I've been in management and they want another manager just cause I'm Hispanic they think that I can't do what somebody else can. So I've had people tell me, uh, is there another manager? Is there anybody else I can talk to? I don't want you to wait on me. Can that other guy wait on me? You know, it makes you feel bad as a person because uh, it makes you question yourself. Am, am I not doing, what am I doing that they're not? Or what are they doing that I'm not? You know, it just, questions yourself uh, I've had people tell me you know I'm over here helping a Hispanic uh, customer or something and talk English can you not talk English you know we're in America speak English I've had I mean I've dealt with that I still deal with that you know at my current job you know there's people that just because I'm Hispanic they won't come up to me and you can tell you, you can tell I remember the time that I used to work at AutoZone. Um, older guy came in and um, asked me, how did you get this job? And I said, well, I applied and they called me. He's like, no, no, I don't mean it like that. He's like, uh, you're Mexican, right? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, you shouldn't be in management. You know, you should just be a regular employee. And I remember that day, I, I felt like telling them so many things. And uh, I went to the back. I had to go to the back. And all I could do was pray about it. I got called all these names that just weren't nice. I mean, I don't know if I can say this or not, but I got called a wetback. Just because, you know, I was Hispanic. I was Mexican. And automatically that was to them it was a joke but it it's not i didn't 
want to be called that and I just felt like I didn't belong like you didn't fit in like you just don't fit yeah. in we started coming to the avenue in 2019 and just to give it a try we wanted to get away from the normal culture. Hispanic culture of yeah. being Catholics our whole lives being raised in that um, and we just wanted to try something different I just felt that since we started, you know, coming to the avenue and stuff, um, our prayer has gotten better about it. Um, because I in my to used to be life, <laughs> um, or in his used to be life, I remember that we would sit there and we would just like pray when needed, pray when needed. And just, or, or we would judge um, because that's what we got. We got judged. So we felt we need to judge back, you know? Um, but since coming to the avenue, everyone um, has just changed our perspective when it comes to showing kindness and just showing love to everyone um, that has changed like it's totally different and um even like you know within our families and our friends um they've noticed that change mm -hmm. and sometimes they're like are you okay <laughs> like you know like what what happened like you know like the old person would have done this and you know or you would have said that before but you're not doing that. So we, we get that. And, um, you know, that's something that we laugh about sometimes because we go back and we're like, we were so messed up. <laughs> like we were so messed up and we were so wrong. Um, but now, I mean, we're just more loving, more caring. Like we're closer to God in our relationship since we've done that. And I feel like just having that faith in God has just grown. And I feel like we have a lot of that um, now than what we used to. And teaching our kids, that's, that's one of the main things, you know? Yeah. Just loving everybody.